Hey, good day, good day, good day, good day. Thank you for joining me. Just in case you're joining me for the very first time, I am your host, The Real Brian Glaze Gibbs. Hey, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share. Hey, you know what? Shout out. Shout out to all. I'm saying for what? 13,400 people that subscribe to the new. I'm saying the real Brian Glaze Gibb YouTube channel. Hey, thank you. I lost my last channel. What? What I had like over 64,000 subscribers. And you know what? Like I told you folks, listen, it's nothing wrong with starting over. You know what I'm saying? That's life. Sometimes you're going to get hit with a problem, a circumstance, situation. And how do we deal with adversity? Sometimes you have to start over and that's what I have to do. But letting you know right now, if you did something once, you can do it again, but make sure you're doing right. Hey, today what I'm going to talk about, like I told you, my man, OG Giggity, Terrence Gangster William, Mr. Civilian, Mr. Answer Right Back. He's on black. And basically right now, what he's doing is right now is he's talking about his boy, BG, Baby Gangster. You know, and basically right now is a while ago, you had Terrence basically right now talking about BG being a snitch, you know, cooperating. And then right now is, hey. Here it is. He's on black apologizing to BG. Basically right now, like I say, he was mad because of some of the slick stuff that BG was saying about him. But once again, here it is. He got, I guess, a call from like a family member of BG and it bothered him that he was able to, you know what, admit his wrong. A lot of people can't do that. A lot of people right now know they wrong and it doesn't matter what anybody tell them. They can continue to stand on what they feel is right by them. Just because somebody did something, I say something to you that you dislike. So guess what you did? You allow your emotion to supersede your intellect. And I tell him that all the time. He got that from me. He just switched it around. Don't allow you know I'm saying your emotion to supersede your intellect under any circumstance. So what I'm going to do is I want you to listen to him as he explained to Vlad what took place and how he felt about it. And you know what? Like I told you, it take a real man to come along and admit, hey, I was wrong. I'm sorry. I apologize. You know what? A lot of times people feel if you apologize, they feel you weak. It's nothing weak about that. You know what I'm saying? The weakness is a person that can't, you know, admit when they're wrong. And you got a lot of people. They can't admit that they was wrong. So when you can't admit that you was wrong, you will never be able to grow in life. And that's just the reality of it. So check it out. And I'll be I back. sat around here trying to tarnish this man's name, give this man a bad rep, but this man didn't, he really didn't violate. But it shows how a person could take it, change the narrative. Like, um, I said where I apologize to him. What I'm learning to, what I've learned about this internet, um, I always tell people words is one thing you can't take back. No matter how much a person say it is, my bad it is, but I like I I don't regret nothing I've done in life. Um, that's the only since I've been on the internet. That's the only thing I feel bad about doing. Cause I know it's a good dude, stand up dude. I'm always been in the paint when it's supposed to. It don't count. Like now he's still holding it down, you know, on his own. So I was like, man, you wrong. That's why I, I'm like, man, I need to get off the internet. Um, I need to get back to my. Uh, original mission, helping the average youth, because this internet is dangerous. Well, I mean, people have actually embraced BG since he got out. They love him. Gucci Mane did a whole mixtape with him, and, and that shit was banging. Oh, you like it? Yeah. I yeah, ain't like that's the whole album. Album. I ain't like the whole album. I might, now, let me say this. I might have to go back and revisit it, because the time he put it out, I was beefing with him on wax, okay. right? Okay, you heard it for yourself. He admit that he was wrong. He admit that he got into his feeling because him and BG was going back and forth. He felt BG took some low, cheap blow shot at him. And not only that, like I told you, BG is baby gangster. He got his name from gangster. So he's like little gangster. But once again, you know what? He was taking shot at, you know, gangster. So gangster got a huge following. Right now, I remember when he first came home, he got a... Huge following over what 125, 26, 27,000. Make sure y'all go and sign up for the Terry Gangster William YouTube channel. But once again, so he took it personal, it got to him. So, you know what? Hey, being that he got a large following, what are you gonna do? He flipped and he changed the narrative. 
despite it was certain situation that was there, but this was an agreement between BG and his co-defendant. And guess what? Gangster got a hold to it, talked to the co-defendant, got the co-defendant to flip it around. The next thing you know, it's out there on the internet. But like I told you right now, folks, listen, man, that internet can be a blessing and it can be a curse. It all depends upon how we utilize it. If you sit back and you look at all the crazy stuff going on now, look at before. A lot of stuff. We, when I was coming up, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have Facebook, YouTube, IG, Snapchat, whatever they got. You know what I'm saying? MySpace. You know, I'm going back. We didn't have none of that. Now, you got everything. And you know what? Look at all the stuff coming about, about Diddy. We would have never known none of that stuff if it wasn't for social media. That's the same thing with R. Kelly. We would never have known that because, once again, like I tell you, who really pay attention to the news? Nobody. Who really read anymore? Nobody. But social media, whether it's true, whether it's false, guess what? If it's on social media, people have the tendency of believing whatever is on social media. If you notice right now is how many people starting to advertise utilizing these platforms because, once again, here it is. They see all the people that's tuned in. A lot of folks, you know what? They got away from watching TV. They got away from watching certain programs because guess what? They're too busy on what? Social media, watching YouTube. YouTube even got a TV. Watching IG Real. Watching what? Facebook. They got so many different social media platforms that people are utilizing more than they utilizing the real television station. People really go to, they really go to a movie. Because why? YouTube is, social media is the new entertainment. You hear it before? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? So like I said right now, Wiz, guess what, man? Shout out to anybody that's out there that's able to admit, you know, when they are wrong. And you know what? Wholeheartedly apologize. That's take a lot. That That's big. On that person, whether a man, whether it's a woman, whoever, whenever you're able to take the time and go to somebody and say, look, man, I was wrong. I apologize. That's huge. Hey, listen, hit the like button, subscribe, share, support. I am the real Brian Glaze Gibbs. If I can change, anybody could change. Get your signed copy of the Beyond Lucky book, A True Story of Crack Money, Murder, and Redemption. You know what? By emailing me at Brian, B-R-I-A-N, Gibbs, G-I-B-B-S, 1201 at yahoo.com. One love.